Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the of Scott Selections here for Wednesday, February 23rd. Before getting today's play of the day, a quick recap of what happened yesterday. We ended up having a push in tennis as we had Giron and Millman over 22 and a half games and minus 115 on Caesars. We got a tie break in the first set. And then you had one of the weirdest sports injuries of all time. Millman accidentally hit a tennis ball into his own face. And because of that, he injured his eye and had to retire. So ended up picking up a push there. Plays got voided and we'll look for a winner here on Wednesday. And for the play today, we're going to look at college basketball, looking at a matchup between Colgate and Holy Cross, taking place at around 7 p.m. Eastern time. For this play, we're going to be looking at a team total. We like Holy Cross team total under uh, 63 and a half at minus 105 on Fox Bet. Time recording of 11.15 a.m. Eastern time. Cover reasons why. I like the under in this spot. First of all, Colgate's defense has been extremely underrated for the last couple of weeks. Colgate has allowed less than 63 points in six of its last seven games. Meanwhile, Holy Cross we know is a bad offense, but they've been even worse over the last couple of weeks. Holy Cross has scored less than 62 points in three of its last four games. Now, to go through the offensive numbers for Holy Cross, it's not pretty because Holy Cross ranks 345th in offensive efficiency, according to Ken Palm, as a reminder, that is out of 358 teams. So a bottom 15 offense in the country, now facing off against a defense in top form. I do think Holy Cross will struggle once again on the offensive end in this spot. Plus, this is going to be the second meeting this season. Colgate ended up holding Holy Cross to just 60 points in the first meeting. And in that game, Holy Cross, uh, Holy Cross shot 40.4% from the floor and 24.1% from three. Now, the reason why I mentioned the numbers is the fact that Holy Cross didn't really shoot that terribly. The thing is, you got to remember, Holy Cross is the bottom feeder in the conference, while Colgate is clearly the best team in the Patriot. And yet, shooting 40.4% really isn't that atrocious. That seems like some number that Holy Cross could very well reach again in the second meeting. And I do think that 60 points is a pretty good indicator of what Holy Cross should end up scoring in this game. I think they'll probably score 57, 58 or so. But the fact that Holy Cross didn't have an absurdly bad shooting game where they shot 33% from the floor or something like that, and yet they only scored 60 despite shooting 40-plus percent, I do think it's a pretty good indicator that Holy Cross should struggle once again offensively in this game. Plus, to go through the recent matchups between these two teams, I already mentioned the one matchup this season, but Holy Cross has scored less than 64 points in five of the last six meetings. So Colgate's defense seems to always have Holy Cross's offense's number, and I do think that'll be the case once again. So for everything I just said, Colgate, great defense uh, for the last couple of weeks. Holy Cross offensively has been a mess this season. They've been a mess lately. And historically speaking, Colgate's defense has really just done whatever it wanted to shut down this Holy Cross offense, and I think that'll happen once again. So the play that it once again here for Wednesday, February 23rd, is going to be on Holy Cross. Team total under 63.5 at minus 105 on Fox Bet. Bye, everyone.